Welcome back to another episode. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. We also have our comments back if you haven't noticed. So go down and say hi down below. This week we are in Kilo Samboa, Indonesia. Let's go see what we get up to. We are an Australian family that made our boat Catalpa our home and set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us in our travels as we share our life on the sea. So we end up getting our anchor chain back and now the next thing's our steering that snapped yesterday. Okay, okay, back there we have it. Oh. That's the brake. That connects onto our chain. And that's the wire which is broken. You think it was rubbing on something to break or? I have no idea. Well, I have a little suspicion it could be rubbing on something. I'm about to investigate. Right. So it's amazing, usually in the uh, yachting community everyone comes together and helps. So I found some cable and between us all, I've only just met the guy um, sort of officially this morning and he happened to have a swage but it was for about uh, five and a half mil or six mil maybe and I'm just drilling it out to seven mil and um, I found a roll of cable on Catalpa and that I can get ready for our steering cable again. So what I intend to do, we don't actually have a proper swaging tool but it's gonna be pretty tight as it is. So I'm gonna put this in, sorry, the people are rude, they're talking on the radio behind. But um, I'm gonna try and get this hollowed out. Maybe I've drilled it and I may just give it a little tidy up with the die grinder. And I'm gonna pull out, I brought a hydraulic swaging machine because I've been tidying up a few wires on Catalpa. She's a bit sad in that department too. And um, I'm going to try and do something with the wire swager and sort of swage that together. Apart from Dan that gave us a swage, if all else fails and we can't get this to work, Mick on site, the other cat over there, he came over last night with some Denema. So if this fails, the wire and the swage, I will then uh, splice this together and give myself a loop and do the steering with Denema. It's actually stronger, the only thing that concerns me is just, well obviously I don't know if this wire broke under load yesterday or whether it actually is rubbing on something, so in that case the Denema would fail. So if it's not rubbing on anything, the Denema is going to get us out of trouble. It's been a busy morning, haven't had my coffee, haven't had breakfast, so I can't really think at the moment. But we're going to have a crack at it. See where we end up by this afternoon. Good day, Mick. How are you? What you got there? Some kind of tool to help me? Oh, thanks. So, what does it do? It goes up and down or it pulls it? Okay, well, I'll just drill this out now. What are you looking for? Screwdriver. There's a little yellow screwdriver. Oh, down there next to Matt's foot. Oh, I knew we had it. <laughs> <laughs> You can maybe bring it back out again and then go in again, you know what I mean? It might just... That would be good if we could just chop maybe two of these off. And stagger them. Two, yeah, so it lets it go in a little bit more. What do you reckon? Yeah. Um, this definitely doesn't look safe, so kids, please don't try this at home. Professional wire swager here. Um, are you getting Matt to do all your work for you? Yeah. He's actually <laughs> just got a great little technique here with a uh, putting a loop in the um, wire, splicing the wire. Yeah. You have to hammer it down. You have to hold that. All right. Are you going to do something? Have you got a shifter or something? Put it over it. We left the boys to it and the rest of the crew headed to shore. Mick and Beth and Matt and Tara had been to Kilo before and had friends that invited us to visit while we were here. Kilo is a little town on the big island of Samboa.
How's this clothesline made from an old satellite dish? It didn't take long and there are lots of kids to see the Bulays, which is tourists in Indonesia that were visiting their hometown. Even the cows were shocked to see us. Oi, what are you guys doing here? To add to the dramas of the morning, Dan's boat dragged anchor and was heading to the shore, but the boys got to it in time. The men that did come ashore decided to go back to the boats as it wasn't the calmest anchorage. And let's face it, we'd all had enough excitement for one day. We piled in the back of a ute and drove through Kilo. This is Waiyu's beautiful home. Waiyu has an incredible garden and he shared fruit freshly picked from his garden with us. It's going to test out corn juice. We never had corn juice before, Bella. I've never had it before. Never, oh yeah, that's different, isn't it? I don't like the smell. I don't like corn. Best, how does it taste? Yeah, I'm oh best already had some. Okay, Can try? Yeah. 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 Actually, mm, yeah, I can yeah. pass. It's yummy. Yeah. Does it yeah. taste like corn? No, it, it tastes, tastes sweet it like corn. It smells like it. Like the smell that like, tastes like the... Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, that's the ones you were talking about. Uh, this is uh, the kinds. This mm -hmm. one, um, red inside. Mm. This is pink, yeah? Mm. But I think mm. it's not right enough. Uh, so the taste is uh, sour. So, but the color is... I went so that's right. Up, 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 up. Right. Right. The outside's nice, but what you is do with the, the right middle, right? <laughs> oh, you don't eat the middle. Yeah. 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 You spit them out or you chew them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But it tastes uh, oh, sour than this one. Yeah. Oh, that one's sour. No, no, no. Just the seeds. Ah, okay. Yummy. Pomegranate? That's good. This is the smell of the. <laughs> oh, do that again, <laughs> man! <laughs> do you need to smell this? Hello. Okay, this young, you need. Salt? It's hard to explain. Okay, I'll well, smell well, it. Yeah. I'll you video my face. Yeah. Oh. Mm. <laughs> now, young. Okay. I don't want to eat that one. <laughs> No, thank you. It's okay. It's okay. Kalau di sini kalau udah hadir di jadi orang udah berlalu habis yang begini. This is a bowl of fruit with yogurt and cheese grated on top. We were a little hesitant at first, but it was actually not too bad. It was the first time I'd eaten sweet yogurt and cheese together. But the fruit was incredibly delicious. Savoring it. This apple tart. Mm. What's that? Delicious. Mum ate mine, as you can tell. I was not a big fan. <laughs> Looking around Waii's garden, you can see that he recycles a lot of things at his home. He is also a big advocate for teaching the kids about how to keep the oceans free of rubbish. It only takes one guy like this in a community to make all the world a difference. A 
I was also so stoked when he offered some fresh greens out of his garden. When you live on a boat, fresh food is few and far between. So thank you so much, Wayu. These were very much appreciated. We are the special guests from Australia. Mm -hmm. yes. Thank you very much. When I saw myself inside another, then I knew what I had to do. No, I needed to fight for you. Ears turn words into silence, running with no guidance, lovers without love. A lovely afternoon. Thank you, Wayu, for having us in your home. After our intense morning, it was a beautiful way to end our day. Like we always say, it's the people that make the places. And Kilo was no exception. The people here were so welcoming and kind, and we really enjoyed our visit. Thanks, Kilo. It's about 2 a.m. and um, we're just about to pull anchor from Kilo. It's a bit rolly, so we're gonna head off. Um, we've had a bit of a sleep, so. We're going to get on our way and head towards Komodo, I think, today. Another big day. It's about 75 nautical miles away. Um, hopefully there's no drama today. <laughs> we managed to get the steering fixed yesterday while we went ashore. And, um, yeah, fingers crossed. Today's passage is smooth sailing. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, like and subscribe. If you want to comment, you can comment now. So go down and comment away. See you guys next time. Bye.